They soar over sand dunes with effortless grace and cling to the seaside goldenrods as the wind whistles across the beach. Every September and October, monarch butterflies stop in Cape May Point before continuing their 2,000-mile migration to Mexico. Monarchs do not have an adaptation that allows them to survive winter's cold in any of their life stages. And in one of the more spectacular migratory movements of North America, uh, tens of millions of monarch butterflies leave eastern half of the United States, southern Canada, on an epic trek all the way to the mountains west of Mexico City. Monarchs literally do migrate over every place in the United States, but geography conspires to have an abnormal number of monarchs come through Cape May. Think of Cape May Point as a highway rest stop for the butterflies. They descend on the beach town to feed on its many flowers before making the 10 mile journey across the Delaware Bay. The monarch has this special quality of hold one up and people stop and they want to hear more about it. They want to see them. Dick Walton founded the Monarch Monitoring Project 20 years ago. The team conducts daily census counts throughout September and October. This season is an especially above average year for monarch sightings. Why becomes a, a set of speculations? We can think that it was a very good year weather-wise for the monarchs along the East Coast. Uh, we had uh, not severe drought, but not uh, real heavy rains either. The team monitors the monarch's path to Mexico by tagging the insects. Field technicians catch the butterflies, record their measurements, and scratch off a portion of their scales to apply a permanent sticker. Over the 20 years, the Monarch Monitoring Project has been tagging butterflies. About 80 monarchs tagged here in Cape May Point have been found in Mexico. Now that might not sound like a lot, but it's impressive, given that one in 1,000 butterflies are recaptured each year. The organization continues to attract people to their tagging workshops, like four-year-old Haley Moyland. It appeared as though this butterfly didn't want to leave Haley's tiny fingertip. It was very exciting. It's the very first time we've ever done something like this. On this day, Haley's butterfly finally took flight, leaving the crowd in awe of her beauty. In Cape May Point, I'm Lauren Wonko for NJ Today.